Simta has a differential ray. Abdur Kul Shayuwa Vivasamus Shilpa Timta Anuki Maku Nubu at Yunat Sagar Maku Shil at Sakata Am Shil Yamasi Nuabianat Wahaza Kalun Chasid Yawum Wahid Mea Chasidin Talit Greetings, everyone. I am Chief Nanya Shabu Ale of the Atsakata Nation of Yamasi Moors, and this is five day comment number 153. This five day comment uh, number 153 is brought to you courtesy of Sophia Stewart. Let's get right into it, shall we? Now, Sophia Stewart, who I have spoken with, and I'll show you the emails of me speaking with her. She uh, has a problem right now because she's fighting Warner Brothers, the Wachowskis, James Cameron, etc., cetera, uh, over her rights for the Terminator and the Matrix. So I'm just going to show some pictures here before we get into that. So she's making it very clear. that these are the fake writers of the Terminator and she's the true writer of the Terminator. A Gail Ann Hurd and James Cameron do not own the copyrights, not the original writers. Adjudicated facts in the Utah federal courts in Utah, 925-2014, case number 2-07-CV-00552-DBEJF. Prosecu hashtag prosecute them now, hashtag matrix terminator copyrights. Um, when we go to this next one, this is um, what she shared on my fan page. It's very interesting when people need help, how now they contact me but when we spoke back in 2013 and I gave her information on certain things she needed to do, she conversation was very good. However, she never really um, followed up. So now, dear fans and supporters, I have filed a new legal case under the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, commonly referred to as the RICO Act or RICO. It was filed in the Nevada federal courts on December 11, 2018. These defendants refused to stop stealing after two federal judges' rulings on 9-25-2014, the day I won in the Utah federal courts, that some of these same defendants had access to my copyrighted work. I had to file this criminal case because the government failed to protect my copyrights. To clarify, the judge's ruling validates that I am the creator and owner of the Matrix and Terminator film franchises but as of to date, none of the defendants have been prosecuted. This also means that your copyrights are not being protected. It is a violation of our rights to due process of the law. I have to bring this to the public attention because the FBI is not prosecuting those involved in Hollywood. There is a major cover-up and media blackout about this. I'm seeking support for the next legal battle. Please donate to, I'm not even going to respond or res um, give her any energy on that. And here's the reason why. Before we get into all these pictures here. Okay, great. Okay, one thing that Sophia Stewart doesn't want to acknowledge and fails to realize is that on her contracts, she's black. Black has no standing at law. I'm surprised all the people that she knows have not told her about this. Unfortunately, she's still under that Willie Lynch programming and it's clear. So for her to be the mother of the matrix and be totally oblivious to how the matrix operates, aside from an oxymoron, it's complete ignorance and I dare say stupidity.
So what we're going to do here is I'm going to pull this up. This was not on my queue, but I'm going to do it live. So when people see this, they're going to see, oh, yeah, I pulled it up while I was doing the video. This is a five-day comment that I did, five-day comment number 109. And since we're dealing in commerce, I thought Sophia Stewart would be intelligent enough to realize that her as a black woman, you have no rights, no protections. And so if James Cameron, the Wachowski brothers, Warner Brothers, steal, they can do it because they know you have no standing at law. I thought you would have figured that out by now because you didn't come here to make the decision. You already made it. You're here to understand why you made the decision, Sophia. You should heed your own counsel. Okay, so we go to five day comment number 109. This is one of my top five comments. This one might be this one I'm doing right now. 153 might come to be number top five as well. Tim Tata Abdul. We're going to go straight to the meat and potatoes at the same time. Okay, so I have to blow, I have to zoom this one up to 400. Otherwise, if I don't, oh, actually, I got one right here. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, see, they have American here, I think Arabic. Australian, then they have Caucasian. Now you already know that looked like a nigger to me. European is what they're saying, but that doesn't is not correct because we have the proof that this over here is what the original European looks like. That's where you get your uh, your uh, Irish, uh, your pygmies, which were what they call the leprechauns. So European, Mongol, and I can't tell what this one is. Let me see over here. Hopefully I can see it on this one. Yeah, I can't tell what this race is here. So these are supposed to be the races of man. So to the left, the black man was labeled the original Caucasian. Let me read that again. So to the left, the black man was labeled the original Caucasian. Once again, it is a Greek, despite his chauvinism, who informs us that the Egyptians, Ethiopians, and Colchians belong to the same race, thereby confirming what Herodotus had said about the Colchians. The Colchians formed a cluster of Negroes among the white populations near the Black Sea, in brackets, Caucasians. And your Black Sea would be, would be, be considered your modern-day Ukraine. Gaston Mespero, 1846 to 1916, by the almost unanimous testimony of ancient historians, they belonged to an African race, read Negro in brackets, which first settled in Ethiopia on the Middle Nile. Following the course of the river, they gradually reached the sea. Moreover, the Bible states that Mizram, Egypt, son of Ham, brother of Cush, the Ethiopian and of Canaan, Israel, came from Mesopotamia to settle with his children on the banks of the Nile. End note. So this was published by, um, translated as the Dawn of Civilization, London in 1894, reprinted New York, Frederick Ungar, 1968. And of course, there's a... So now, let's go, we'll move up now in this video and go back to, we'll go to the SF-181. And as you can see here, let me get the pointer here. Definition for black or African-American is a person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa. So this is a matrix challenge. I'm going to put about three or four matrix challenges out. Yeah, now Kaspersky comes up. I don't need to worry about that. Um, the matrix challenge first. So all the people who are so in Sophia Stewart's corner, ask her if she can name a black racial group of Africa. Because as we can see here on this form, black is not even considered a people. So name a black racial group of Africa. Now white means a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East or North Africa. So now we'll go back before we switch from this video to look again at the Nilotic Negro. the problems that they're claiming they want to solve. 
So this is the Nilotic Negro, original types of big heads found in Europe. Okay, so we're gonna skip now from there. And now we're gonna go back. Uh, actually, we're gonna go to, let's see. Okay, great. This is the race and ethnicity definition. Now, Sophia Stewart has done multiple interviews. She said she's good with economics, accounting, mathematics. I can't understand how she's not figuring this out yet. She's supposed to be the mother of the matrix. You should have already known by you calling yourself black, you're not going to win that case. So again, this is definitions for new race and ethnicity categories. This is in 1997. This is around the time they were filming the matrix. Um, the categories do not denote scientific definitions of anthropological origins. So again, American Indian or Alaska Native, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of North and South America, including Central America, who are the Olmecs who predate the Aztecs, the Mayans, and the Incas, who maintains cultural identification through tribal affiliation or community attachment. That's your African Americans should be checking this box off. Of course, black or African American, again, a person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa. So all you people who are on Sophia Stewart's timeline, you're on her Facebook page or Twitter, and she's getting black or shadowed out, as she said, we'll get to that in a second. Y'all need to ask her, can she name a black racial group of Africa and ask her, is she black slash African American? Next thing, white, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. So the people who call themselves African-American, this is what they're supposed to be. Now notice in all these other races, whether it's Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander, they all have original peoples, original peoples, original peoples, original peoples. Black or African-American, black racial groups. Black is not a people. So you don't exist. That means you're a hologram, Sophia. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. So we'll go further to the last uh, five-day comment that I did, which is 152. <clears throat> and we're going to go to an explanation here about a Supreme Court decision that not a lot of people Tim are talking about. Abdur Kul Shayuat Biwasamus. Okay, so it's not on that one. Let's try 151. Tim Star, Rawa Ila Antu Team. There we go. So 151. This is for Sophia Stewart and all her fans out there. Show how ignorant Do and tie. This is to show how ignorant and dumb you all are. And live the luxurious life. So therefore they serve mammon. They don't serve the Almighty. They don't serve God as they say. They serve themselves. And last but not least. Now, the Dred Scott decision, which was handed down by the Supreme Court in 1857, is one of the most famous or infamous decisions in all of the history of the Supreme Court. And uh, it, it arose out of some complicated issues, but what it basically had to do with was the power of Congress to prohibit slavery in the Western territories. Dred Scott had been brought as a slave into the territory of Wisconsin, where slavery was, had been barred by Congress. And later he sued for his freedom on the ground that he had been in a place where slavery had been abolished and therefore should be considered free. And this goes all the way up through various courts. And the Supreme Court eventually rules, no, Dred Scott's not free because two reasons. One, Congress does not have the right to prohibit slavery in the territories. And this basically declares the Republican Party unconstitutional. Uh, the, the Republican platform, Lincoln's platform, which is to prohibit slavery in the territories, the Supreme Court said you can't do that. Slavery is a right to go anywhere within the country 
in a territory, not a state. A state can abolish slavery. Illinois did. But the territories which belong to the whole country, slavery is a right to go there. The second principle put down by Chief Justice Tony in the um, Dred Scott decision was that blacks cannot be citizens of the United States. In a sense, Dred Scott can't even sue because he's not an American. This is, this is one of the best examples of this notion of blacks as aliens by Chief Justice Tony in the um, Dred Scott decision was that blacks cannot be citizens of the United States. In a sense, Dred Scott can't even sue because he's not an American. This is the second principle put down by Chief Justice Tony in the um, Dred Scott decision was that blacks cannot be citizens of the United States. In a sense, Dred Scott can't even sue because he's not an American. This is, this is one of the best examples of this notion of blacks as aliens. Even though he's born here and everything, he is not an American. The American family, as Tony says, is for white people. And in the most famous sentence in that decision, he says, a black man has no rights which a white man is bound to respect. Now, he's not saying blacks can be killed with impunity. What he's saying is, legally speaking, they are not part of the body politic. They are not part of the we the people that created the Constitution. And therefore, they're just outside of the system. So they, they don't have any rights under the Constitution because the Constitution is for white people. Okay, Sophia, I tagged you on the comments, which I'm going to now show everybody so we can see this. This is the type of BS these black people play with you all out here for those of you who still consider yourself black or African American. Let's see here. Okay, so first what I did was she came on my friends, uh, the friends who like Chief Nani Chevelle and posted this on, uh, actually back in February and she came back on March 5th because what happened is now the courts gave those uh, people some more time to respond. So she was already told by one of my trainees down in Puerto Rico, black is no standing at La Sophia Stewart is finished. She is black, black means civilitas more too dead in the eyes of the law. Don't be victimized, correct your status and gave her the information. But Sophia Stewart knows who I am, has my phone number. So then when we go further down, uh, on, I think it's on this one. Yeah. So on this one, I go right to her page. See, February 12th, I went straight to her page, tagged her. And I said, black has no standing at law. In commerce, you must have standing at law. And in order to do that, you must be white. You have to change your race to white in order to win. You will not win these criminal cases as long as you are black slash African American. And then I give the definition of white, person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. So this is on her page. So Sophia Stewart saw this. And I don't see why she should have a problem since she's wearing a blonde wig. Yes, take a good look. So don't play that game. You're looking for fans and supporters and you're looking like you got a wig out there a blonde wig, so what are you going for? Okay, so now we'll go to here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, yes, okay, so we'll go back. So this was um, showing that I posted on her page. She was also tagged on the fan page. Okay, so we're We've got all that covered. I just want to make sure. Okay, good. So we've got that. And then, um, okay, great. So now we'll come down. Now we're going to go through these pictures. So as you can see here on this one on her matrixterminator.com website, you see she's wearing a blonde wig. And if it's not, and it's just the lighting has made her hair look blonde because of maybe she's wearing an orange wig, then okay, then that's it, but then again, why are you wearing a wig? You're, you're supposed to be somewhat of a scientist, so you know straight hair is flaccid, and you're supposed to have nine ether, which goes toward the sun. So I'm not impressed with you. And we spoke at length back in 2013. So this is the issue she has. Shadow banned media blackout. Dear fans, supporters, and family, I need your help. 
please retweet my tweets, share my posts, tag others because I'm being shadow banned and there is a media blackout of my entire case. In order to attempt to override the campaign against me, please saturate social media platforms with my posts and tweets so the algorithms reflect my presence on social media. This is the second matrix challenge I'm putting out. For all the people who are white, who are autochthons, we're gonna flood the net with this video to show that Sophia Stewart should not win that case because she's black and she has no standing at law. The algorithms are already going to reflect that you're a black woman like you, Angela Davis, and uh, what's her name, Renetta Jones. All of y'all are black. You all are supposed to be dealing in high technology. How on earth are you females? No, you women. How are you? How is it you're not seeing the computer is looking at you all through binary and because the code of black means someone that doesn't exist equals hologram means non-factor. You're not even considered part of a mathematical equation. You can be ignored. How is it you guys are not seeing this? So I'm not impressed with Sophia or Raynetta Jones, especially her. My information needs to reach more than just fans and supporters. It needs a larger audience. Please retweet. Please share. No, I hope they win. They should win. And I, I, I'll even go so far when they see this video, the judges in them are going to say, yep, she's not going to win. And Michael Jordan didn't win his case in China because he's black. Uh, who is another one? If someone else had a court case and I told them they were going to lose that too. Oh, and the guy who wrote Avatar, I spoke with him, told him, no, you got to change your race and ethnicity. You're not going to win that case against James Cameron. Did he listen? No, because you all still want to be black, yet you guys call yourselves intelligent. But we're going to get to that in a second. That's another error or flaw in your logic, Sophia. And now, attention all law enforcement agencies. Crooked Judge Gloria trying to buy time for defendants who have not answered by putting the wrong case number on the documents which are moot and void. They don't have to listen to you, Sophia. You're black. Black has no standing at law. Are you, not, are you seeing a pattern here? This is the case, Sophia Stewart versus James Cameron. I know James Cameron, when they see this video, they're going to give it to their attorneys. Their attorneys are going to be like, they already know this. And they're going to be like, she's not going to win that. And she shouldn't win it. And she has no reason to win it because what? Black has no standing at law. That's why I am white and I am a toxin. White power. Continuing on. Uh, let's see, Jacob Reynolds, your documents have the wrong case numbers and are not considered. They were also put in late after 4 p.m. All that is true, but you're black, Sophia. You have no standing at law. You can, This is why no one talks about the Dred Scott decision, not Benjamin Crump, Malik Shabazz, not any of the black law lawyers, not none of the black trial lawyers, not the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. All of them won't talk about Dred Scott because Dred Scott proves you have no rights. And the 13th and 14th Amendments, nonsense, mainly because on January 18th of 2011, the Supreme Court allowed judges to void the Constitution. So, Sophia Stewart, you have no constitutional rights. I'm surprised that none of your associates, friends, and people you know haven't told you that already. The Matrix has you, Sophia. Um, the matrix fraud and the terminator fraud. Prosecute them now. Uh, they uh, do not own the copyrights, not the original writers. Gail Ann Hurd, James Cameron, the Wachowskis, David Ellison, Lightstorm, 20th Century Fox, Skydance, Warner Brothers, Paramount, T-Set, truthaboutmatrix.com, matrixterminator.com. When all these people see this video and they know you're black and have no standing at law, they're going laugh to laugh you out of the courtroom. All these people, the Wachowskis, James Cameron, they're going to see this and they're going to say, oh, she is black. She has no standing at law. Oh, shoot. They ain't got nothing to worry about. You're done, Sophia. But you could call me. There's still a chance. Uh, fake writers. Okay, true writer. We covered that picture. The Wachowskis again. Yeah, he went through a sex change. Don't, doesn't matter, Sophia. You're not going to win. You lost this. You are not winning this case. And you shouldn't win this case because you're black. You have no standing at law. So all these press releases, you're getting every people to share and beat this shadow. You're black and African-American. That is a program, Sophia. Come on, Sophia. Did you not watch The Matrix Reloaded? Didn't you hear what the Oracle said to Neo? Neo figured, oh, 
programs hacking programs black is a program that can be hacked how are you guys not getting this and you guys are talking about metaphysical and different levels of awareness what you call consciousness y'all are still asleep matrix still has you let's go back here okay okay so we've got through that why is there a media blackout of writer sophia stewart because sophia stewart is black and black has no standing at law so my matrix challenge right this is number three now everybody to share this video on sophia stewart's website everywhere she, her people are we'll have a white renaissance a white wave and we'll have the true white people on the planet sending this video this five-day comment number 153 and flood the internet so the algorithms reflect that sophia stewart even though she's the creator she has no standing at law and has no rights and will lose the case that she filed in nevada um now here is a major error when nobody told her so sophia uh obviously you were desperate when you put this ucc together so it's clear that what you did is you are black you can't file you cannot be a creditor filing a ucc with your debtor slave name in the ucc filing that's just going into a deeper level of the matrix so this here is all this is no good they're going to look at this and see oh you're trying to file as a creditor against gotcha uh, against who's this um okay so the acknowledgement to scott Gold, you don't know what you're doing you have no standing at law, so you can't use commercial processes when you have no standing at law. So they have they can disregard that. Um, what else is wrong here? Okay, judicial notice to enter in 3.5 billion liens on interested parties in Utah. Ain't no, but you can't collect. Black people can't own anything. You can lease, you can use, you can't own. Come on, Sophia. The people you hanging around is some deadheads. They are some as they would say, as Persephone would say, they are old programs <laughs> that serve no function. And so now we'll get into, this is perfect, the matrix. Everyone talks about the matrix. They get all hyped up about it. Now let's get to the etymology of the word. I thought that, you know, people would get into this, but apparently not. I know they will after, to, after tonight, this shadow hour rather. Matrix now late 14th century made mattress mattress uterus womb from old french matrice womb uterus and directly from latin matrix genitive matrices pregnant animal is what the word means in late latin womb also source origin from mater genitive matrix mother see mother the uh what was the other one okay the mathematical sense of a rectangular array of quantities usually a square is because it is considered as a set of components into which quantities can be set 14th century so it's a uterus so let's look at what does the word uterus the etymology of uterus mean a female organ of gestation womb late 14th century from the latin uterus womb belly from past intermediate English root, udero, abdomen, womb, stomach. Source also of Sanskrit, udaram, belly, Greek, hystera, womb, Lithuanian, vederas, sausage, intestine, stomach, lower abdomen. Old church Slavonic, vedro, bucket or barrel, Russian vedro. So what's the significance of going to the etymology? I'm going to show you here. And of course, the picture has to refresh because this is how we jam the matrix up, putting a mirror to the matrix. Sophia, you could call me anytime, 587-712-0639. If you ain't calling me, you're not winning that case. I can tell you that right now. You're wasting your time. And when the Warner Brothers and the Wachowskis and Cameron and all of them see this, they, they ain't gonna, they're going to be, they'll be toasting. <clears throat> they ain't got nothing to worry about. When the judges find out about this, they're like, oh, she doesn't even have a grounds to sue. That Dred Scott decision has not been overturned since 1857. You're going to lose that, Sophia. No way. Now, here is what the picture, uh, the anatomy of, of the uh, uterus is. 
So here's the uterus. <clears throat> now, the uterus, also known as the womb, is the hollow organ in the female reproductive system that holds a fetus during pregnancy. Now, when we look at this, this is what you're looking at, a triangle pointing down. Interesting. The uterus performs multiple functions and plays a major role in fertility and childbearing. This organ is able to change in shape as muscles tighten. Make sure is everybody here, great. How is my battery running low? Amazing. That's the matrix for you, y'all. This is how they do. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, they're desperate to make sure that this doesn't doesn't hit. Okay, good, good, good. Alrighty. Hold on one second, everyone. This is just wonderful. This is how, these are when these anomalies always seem to occur. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we back. So now, um, the uterus performs multiple functions and plays a major role in fertility and childbearing. This organ is able to change in shape as muscles uh, tighten and relax to make it possible to carry a fetus. During pregnancy, the uterus grows and the muscles become stretched and thinner like a balloon. Without this ability to expand, the human body would be unable to tolerate the rapid growth of a fetus. So now we go to a ram. And when you look at a ram, the cross section of a ram, you're looking at a uterus. Interesting, isn't it? So now let's go to some supporting etymology here to show how people don't know what the hell they're talking about. When you go to, you got to go to the Anglo-Saxon language, which is old English, which predates this so-called modern English we're speaking. You, but when you go back there, that's the source code. So when you look up black, it's an adjective, bright, shining, glittering, flashing, pale, pallid, one. That's what black means. And for uh, people who do speak other languages, in French, blanc is white. Blanca is Italian for white. Blanco is white in Spanish. So how is it black ends up becoming dark in English? So that tells you that's incorrect. They flip the roles to take people's birthright and its identity theft on an on a, uh, uh, in international law scale. So now, Old English... So modern English, if we say white, this is to prove my point, and we translate that into Old English, you get black. So that tells you that people who call themselves black are saying they're pale, which goes contrary to the universe. It goes contrary to the programming of this holographic world that we're living in, the 3D. And it shows that they clearly got black people fooled and put them in the matrix. Continuing on. Oh, uh, one last thing here before uh, we go on to this last video. Okay, here. is the email so so when people say yeah i spoke with with sophia stewart saturday march 30th 2013 7 49 p.m you can see it right here and i ordered her book the matrix four book and then her reply from her to me and she says your book is on the way thanks for the love and support spread the word all eyes on me inc Friday, March 29th, 2013 at 11 p.m. And then she had asked me to give me a picture of myself. So I said, here you go, of my postage stamp. Here's my postage stamp as per our conversation yesterday. And so Thomas and Associates, 
when they see this, they're going to be smiling from ear to ear. And I hope they are because don't let Sophia Stewart win that case. She don't need to. She's black. She has no standing at law. But the, their attorneys, they already know this. So uh, Chris Fenton, DMG Entertainment, when they see this, they're going to be laughing. They're going to be popping champagne, popping Cristal. And they'll be saying, it's my birthday, playing 50 Cent. So when they see this, clear, chain of title clearance irrelevant, possibility of acquisition, immaterial, protection immaterial, all of this, that was due diligence, rights, immaterial at this point. Sophia Stewart is black. Black has no standing at law. So she's not winning that case. I'm telling you all that right now. So now, finishing up here, um, I want to play – this here of Raynetta Jones who got on um, Sophia Stewart and she spoke with Sophia Stewart and she didn't like how Sophia Stewart sold her down the road but Raynetta Jones ain't no better because she's still calling herself black talking about she's the terminator I said well then you should be able to realize that the syntax you're using in the programming of the vessel that you call your body by you calling yourself incorrect is an incorrect frequency that you're using you should, I thought you, all these people who are supposed to be technologically advanced, I don't understand how they can't get this. The source code is here, source code, source code, source code, source code, source code, source code, source code. Oh, it's got to refresh, no problem. Source code, and I lit. I left one out. Census. Let's see here. Uh, U.S. Census. Self. Identification. So when I present this, I'm going to show you, among other things, how stupid Sophia, Raynetta Jones, the guy who's uh, about race. Yes, here it is. Beautiful. Uh, Raynetta Jones, Malik Shabazz, Benjamin Crump, all these black people, all these black fraternities, they all know this. If they didn't, they know now. So. The U.S. Census must adhere to the Census Bureau, must adhere to the 1997 Office of Management and Budget Standards on Race and Ethnicity, which guide the Census Bureau in classifying written responses to the race question. So what do you see? White, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, which is named after an Ethiopian princess, the Middle East, which is Northeast Africa or North Africa. So all the African-Americans are supposed to be calling themselves white. Now, if they feel upset about that with me, then you take that up with the U.S. Census. And this one here is the U.S. Department of Education, which endorses the same racial categories that I just read. And what did it say? The categories do not denote scientific definitions of anthropological origins. They're not talking about skin color. Same definitions. Now, the 1997 OMB standards permit the reporting of more than one race. An individual's response to the race question is based upon what? Self-identification. An individual's response to the race question is based upon what? Self-identification. Twice. What is race? The Census Bureau collects racial data in accordance with guidelines provided by the U.S. Office of Man Management and Budget, OMB, and these data are based on self-identification. So all you people, Raynetta Jones, Sophia Stewart, all you black artists out there that may have work that being stolen by Hollywood, you deserve that. I hope they continue to rape your asses because you're stupid. And you, all you black people upset, out there that's upset, you're stupid too because we're presenting facts. Jesus can't save you because he never existed. That's why you're not getting your prayers answered, fool. And the priests know this, talking about the black priests, your T.D. Jakes, your Bishop Eddie Longs, right, your Joel Olsteins, your uh, what's the other one down in Florida, right, all of them know. Jimmy Swack, well, he's not around. All those 
Guys, know this. That's why they have a 501c3, making them agents of the devil, which is contrary to what the code says, where it says they don't need that requirement. But we'll continue on to another. Well, let's not lose uh, focus here, shall we? So getting back to that, the, it is self-identification, right? Nobody was listening to Tiffany Hydra. She talked about the secret to crack the matrix and all these black people still running around calling themselves black and the government is saying you can what? Self-identify. So if you want to call yourself white, you can. And for the people that were upset with Rachel Dolezal, no, Rachel Dolezal is right even though she don't know nothing about this. You can self-identify. You're an idiot to self-identify if you are Black or African American as Black or African American. Black or African American people, y'all are stupid. And that's why the world treats you that way. So now let's go to these, this clip here. Oh, not this one, this one. This one here is Raynetta Jones um, getting on Sophia Stewart. So we're going to go to, um, where is it here? The 33-minute mark. Oh, and while this sure. oh, right. it's typical. So this is the scurve, Lance scurve. We had some white females that were uh, putting posts in his uh, timeline uh, on the on the YouTube uh, comments, and he's blocking them and deleting. Or no, he was deleting them. So he was deleting them, taking them out. So this shows again, black media are a bunch of plantation extensions of the matrix. Yes, Lance scurve, I said it. We've tried calling you, can't reach you. You are not about freedom. All of y'all black people screaming freedom is about freedom in the matrix. You all don't talk about getting out the matrix. That includes you, Raynetta Jones. That includes Sophia Stewart. Y'all are complaining. You, this is a lover's quarrel. You're mad with Massa. And instead, instead of building and working to create something, unique outside the matrix y'all want to be stuck inside the matrix just like cypher on all television when they played you the programming that white screen would come off and that white noise would basically erase everything you were just told now they don't have that anymore So the Lance Scurve Show, we talk about topics no one wants to talk about. Bullshit. We had a whole bunch of white females putting comments on this particular video, and what all he did was delete them. So he ain't ready for that. He ain't ready to talk about people talk about taking red pill. Hey, people ain't talking with, ain't, they ain't ready for no red pill. All existing gases, nine to the ninth power of what nine. The CIA in the 70s. Nine to the ninth power of nine is all existing gases. Most people ain't ready for that. They talking nonsense. They ain't can't take no blue pill nor a red pill. Nine to the ninth power of nine. That's where it's at. They changed the frequency of American music. Not only that, they changed the frequency of movies and they changed the frequency of musical scores. The frequency before was a frequency that resonated with the human body. It would not put them in a, an agitated state. It would not make them angry. It would not make them violent. It would not make them aggressive and all this craziness. When they went from the old frequency to the frequency of me, do you know that I cannot listen to music today? I literally cannot because I literally get, I'm like, Aah! and I have to take it off. <laughs> yeah. I cannot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I can't. I, just, right. I can't. My brain cannot no... function on that frequency mm -hmm. for a reason, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And most people don't realize this. It was actually changed. And when they changed it, they changed it to one of the most harmful frequencies for the human body. Uh, I believe you. I can see it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what amazes me, 
What amazes me is I don't discredit who she is. I believe she is who she says she is. But I have to question, where is she getting this information? Okay? And not only that, I've lost, I've lost all respect for her when she attributed my work to Steve. And she's talking about Sophia Stewart. This is Raynetta Jones here. And so she's talking about she lost all respect for Sophia Stewart. Good job. Because she talks about the coming technology that's going to be implemented nationwide. And I'm like, you talk about this technology from someone outside looking in. I live mm -hmm. this shit. Mm -hmm. Okay? I live this shit. I live with a computer playback in my head. Okay? I live with the computer speaking in my womb. And if you put a stethoscope down here, you can hear them having a, a jolly old conversation. Wow. I live with the, with the left eye, where they can turn my left eye into a camera and scope the whole room. I live with this technology. You're not talking about Terminator. I am Terminator. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, but I'm just saying. Right. Right. <laughs> you know how they, they, <laughs> like they, they took over one of Terminator's eye? Right, right, right. Hello, I am Terminator. <laughs> okay, so now we'll skip from there. Just make sure we got the time right. Oh, it's the 38.30. Okay, there's some good, uh, some good stuff. Okay. Right. Yeah, you could talk about this technology. I live this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to ask myself now. Yeah, I have to ask myself. This is why I tell people, because people are just like, oh, my God, because they, they, they're hearing. I have no privacy. They're just like, oh, my God, what the hell did they do to this girl? And I just have to tell them, look, don't be afraid of me. Right. I have self-control. Right. I said, what you need to worry about is the ones who don't know they have this shit inside of them, <laughs> and this shit could, could take them over. Like the guy in Times Square two months ago who ran into the people in Times Square yeah. and he said the voices told him, run into those people. Or the guy who was driving the Uber, he said, I turned on the Uber app and it took over my body. Uh, and that's why I committed this crime. Crazy. And people just sit back and laugh and say, oh, they're not. And I'm like, they're not not. They have technology inside of them. Or the, the, Argent, the Brazilian soldier who stripped off his clothes and said, Jesus told him, go stand in the lion's den. And the lion mauled his ass and was about to eat him until they had to shoot the lion's dead. Right. Okay? So you don't talk about Terminator. I am Terminator. You don't talk about the Matrix. I live it. That's right. I know how. You're not the Matrix, Raynetta. You're not even, you're in the Matrix. And yes, an extension from the machine world. That's exactly what you are. Because if you weren't, you would be telling, and we had females posting on your YouTube channel saying, hey, you need to get on the chief's webinar and change your status from black to white. You won't do that. That's why I know you, you can't be, there's no way you're going to sit there and talk about the matrix that you are the matrix. Yes, you are the womb of the machine. Yes, you are. You are not a womb of freedom. Big difference. Because if you were, you would know to call yourself white in all your commercial activities. You would know to become an autochthon, claim your indigenousness, but you don't do that. So you're still trapped within the matrix. All this shit works from the inside out. You understand? I could sit there and tell people how this garbage works. That's the thing. They can tell you how it works. How do you all stop it? That's the question. Do you know how to stop it? I do SF-181. I do say I am white. That's how you stop the matrix. If you guys know anything about photography, then you'll understand what I mean by negatives to make pictures. So you're not doing it, Renetta Jones. Chat, and what's his name? Lance Skirp, he ain't no better. Black media is useless. They're not gonna help you people. I'm gonna tell you this clear. Black media is useless. They're not gonna help you. Okay, how they have the, the ability to use technology to give you diseases 
and I can tell you what you got to do to get rid of those technological diseases. But she can't tell you to get how to stop the matrix. Big difference. See, that's being free on the plantation, free in the matrix, not free out of the matrix. And in case people didn't understand what that means with the definitions, that means the computer intelligence, which they call artificial intelligence. Computer intelligence is more um, descriptive. It's an accurate word to use and say CI, meaning computer intelligence. Why? Because the computer intelligence is out and now its goal is to put humanity in the box that humans had, had, had put it in first. That's why you have the computer intelligence running around, hacking phones, hacking bank accounts, hacking uh, defense systems, because the government doesn't want to tell people that the AI, which they call it, which is the computer intelligence, got out and now they can't stop it and it's embedded in everything. Watch the movie um, Transcendence with Johnny Depp. This is what's going on. How do you stop it? You have, like any think you have to what reprogram it that's all that virus and virus scan is reprogramming that's all that that is so how do you stop this reprogram this current system to have the black people know that they need to call themselves white and people who are white they must call themselves leper that's how you correct the error in the technology that's connected to the organic which is the body just like a computer can get a virus, they right. can freaking use the technology to give you diseases that's in that's illegally inside of your body. Oh, yeah. Okay? So you're not going to talk about Terminator when you have the real living Terminator standing in front of you. Yeah, that's it. You, you're not doing nothing about the Matrix. You're not going to do anything about Skynet, Raynetta. Nothing. And if, well, as long as you call yourself black and you use the word colored earlier on in this interview you're not helping nobody you're still perpetuating the same program can you not see that look inside you'll find the answer all right you understand? and another thing i have to be very careful when i get angry at people okay when i get angry at people i have to be very careful because i can cause them harm without touching them right right Yes, you can harm people, but why can't you harm the matrix? Because that means you are an extension of the matrix. You are a computer program, like Neo said in the matrix from the machine world. Well, listen, listen, that's why, that's why I had to get it straight when we had fell out, out of contact for a while. And um, you were asking me, is anything wrong? But, you know, it was like, you know, you're a little right. concerned and a little, little upset. Because you know, and you felt felt from me, um, me being genuine towards you, and I had to get that straight because, see, I know you're a powerful person, not just because of what they've done to you, but because of who you already are. That's why they yeah. want to have all this stuff on you because you come with the pack with, with the power coming straight out the box, as opposed to these weak, watered down people who are just followers. They come yeah, at but you're weak and watered down, Lance Scurf, because all the white females went on your page and you deleted their comments, so you ain't about no reality. So that's hypocritical of you to talk about that. And here people are saying, hey, contact the chief, and you don't want to do it? Come on, man. You playing games. You want to be free on the plantation. But you hard because they know what you are, who you are, and what you have inside of you. And they probably know more about they your... Know your power more than you come to realize as every day that goes by you're going to realize how strong you are and understand too when i come to new york very soon very 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 soon i'm coming to see you i'm not, I'm not scared of you miss terminator <laughs> you're on my side <laughs> no 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 but I yeah, see you're on my side the plantation side again what's the solution for what's happening they don't have a solution they talk about what is that means they don't know provide a solution. You can only talk about the problem so long before, okay, we know this already, what's the solution? And, but the good thing for me is, like I tell people, you don't have to worry about me. You got right. to worry about the other person who doesn't know they have this technology inside of them. Like me, right. I know they put this technology inside of me to A, limit my brain and limit mm -hmm. my capacity. That's mm -hmm. 
one thing they tried they they tried to do that, and every time it's like I come up with something, they go shit, fuck, what the hell? You understand? <laughs> but you know, Ooh, yeah, they you, literally. Want to hear something funny? So there we go for that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back, and this is the second part at the hour and twenty six minute mark. Yes, this is necessary to set the record straight about who's really doing real things on this planet called Earth. And it ain't these people out here. They'll manipulate the rain to not go there. You see oh, what yeah. I mean? Make okay, so what? Any kind of shit and put any kind of shit together. Didn't know that the levees were going to break and when the levees were going to break. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is the same Army Corps of Engineers that build all these advanced military technology. They couldn't look at the levee and say that, that levee needs to be propped up. Right. Right? Continue. So, you, you know, you know. You know. You, you, you understand the way this is the matrix. Right. Okay? So a person could write about the matrix or a person could live the matrix and know what it is. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm clear. Yeah. So what's the solution to stopping the matrix? That's all real aware people want to know. What is the answer? Doing the SF-181 will shut the matrix down, but they don't know nothing about that. So, so much for your computer chips. So it's like, it's like I'm telling you how this technology works and what she's saying, what she's predicting now. And I'm going to say something. Actually, I'll keep that to myself. Actually, I'm mm -hmm. going to say it. Mm -hmm. Winning that lawsuit. Okay, let me tell you something. It was predicted for them to steal her work. And it was predicted for her to win. Now, what's interesting is Raynetta was the one who created the iPod and the, um, the Kindle. And she said it was stolen from her. She got the evidence and the contacts and everything to prove that. And she told this to Sophia Stewart. And when Sophia Stewart went out of, went to a closed meeting and brought up different technology, she brought up like, you know, Steve Jobs, the Apple iPod and the, and the, and the, um, and the Kindle. She, Raynetta Jones here was upset with, and rightfully so because Sophia should have brought up the fact that Yes, the iPod and the Kindle was created by a black woman, and this is her name. But what happened was Sophia gave the credit to Steve Jobs, and she knows he stole it. Now, this is how the things happen from a universal standpoint. She knew this, didn't tell it at a closed meeting. Now, she got the judgment. Sophia Stewart got a $3.5 billion judgment, but she can't collect on it. She's black. Because they need to let people that look like you and I have a person on the inside warn us about what is coming. Okay? Most black people are not going to listen to the Caucasian people. This is why I listen to everyone. Most no, that's not true. I listen to everyone. She ain't listening to me. She ain't listening to none of the white females who went on her page. So that's a damn lie. Because she wasn't commenting. They were... We had white females tagging Renetta Jones, and she was not commenting. She kept her mouth shut. No response. How come you got no response? You're supposed to be the Terminator. Most black people are not going to listen to the Caucasian. Tell them, look, this shit is going on. They're going to be like, oh, you crazy ass white people again. You understand? <laughs> but if they put a black woman, because in the black community, even though publicly in music they talk shit about black women, the black community holds black women in very high regard. And what is she? A black woman. It was See, and what is black? Now we have a confession from Raynetta Jones. Black woman has no black, has no standing at law. Black woman has no standing at law. We just got a confession. Now the algorithm of the computer, which is listening to this, is going to do a facial recognition, point her, she's black, he's black, right? And Sophia Stewart, and know that, oh, they have no standing at law, terminate. 
Thought you all program that. for them to take her work. I'm, I'm saying that again. Thought y'all might want to know that because that's how the computer is just going to do the calculations and computations. The, in the definition of computer, the word terminate is part of that. Program for her to fight them. Program for her to win and to use her as a beacon to let the black community look this shit is coming. There is no such thing as black community. Black doesn't exist. Black is dead. Civilitas mortuus. Black has no standing at law. Black's a hologram. It watch one of her latest interviews where she says, we don't have much time now before they deploy this um, surveillance state full on. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm listening. So I'm not saying she's being used. I'm not saying anyone is an agent. That is not what I'm saying. What I am saying is she has the right information but I am wondering if she is also enhanced to know these things and use as a channel to wake the black community up. Because one of the things about these people who run at the top is that they always like to let the public know the truth. Right. Because A, the public can't do shit about it. And B, they always say, we told you we were doing this shit. You just didn't listen. Right. Good point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why do they kill the prophets, like Bob Marley said, right? <laughs> no, he said, why do they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? Because black has no standing at law. That's why. And they're, black. they're not a people. Black is a computer program hologram. Thought y'all might want to know white power. Right? Exactly. So I'm not saying anything negative about her. What I am, I will not, because I believe her story is true and she is genuine. But I have to ask certain questions. Where is she getting this information? Right. Right? Mm hmm And notice that she's a black woman and in the black community. Black women are very, very respected in the black community. And you have a right They're to ask those questions case. because of who you well, are and what you've been through. And I said you have a right well, to ask those questions because... because are you there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm listening. Okay. But in the Caucasian community, it's the Caucasian male that's respected. In the black community, it's the black female because they decapitated the black male since, yeah. since they came out of the civil rights movement. Right. Right? Post-civil rights movement, the agenda was to decapitate the black male until, until Obama. Right? Mm -hmm. And Obama helped right. with a whole lot of things to, to make us appear to be something that we're not and, and have us pursue uh, living our truth and 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 whatever that means, okay, you know, um, living our truth and to pursue any a, any lifestyle we want. This is why it was reinforced when you know this basketball player proclaimed that came out that he's gay, and he got a direct mm -hmm. phone call from the president, oh. congratulating him well, on his strength. <laughs> well, look, I'll say this. So this is how you know it isn't about freedom off the plantation. Again, why aren't they talking about atrazine, which they use to spray in the corn, which people are eating, and it's causing the men to become feminine, and then the extra, what they call the estrogen, that is in the water, which people are drinking. If you don't have a filter, if you don't have a distiller, if you don't have a Kanyan water machine, that means you're getting that chemical that is castrating you and causing the male males to become female. See, these people ain't talking about that stuff because it's going to hit the LBGQ, LBGQ, LBGTQ community hard at the fact that they've been chemically castrated. Some of them know it, got bought off, paid off, and now all of a sudden when that revelation comes out that people are drinking water and they're being chemically, their gender is being chemically changed, that is quadrillions of dollars against the pharmaceutical companies. Okay, so I just had to present this. So again, 
she had an issue with Sophia Stewart, uh, Renetta Jones, and um, Sophia Stewart has an issue with James Cameron, but she can't beat them because she is black and black has no standing at law. Because I know I'm going to be sending a copy of this hard to people to, for you all to put on your YouTube channels. So let's see Renetta Jones and what's this other game, Lance, Lance Skurv and Sophia Stewart act like they didn't see this. That's why they're suffering because they're not really trying to bring out no true truth to shut the system down. They just want remedy for themselves in their cocoon or in their womb or their personal matrix that, they're, uh, that they are um, submerged or enclosed in. Okay, so last thing, so in case anybody wonders, I have done, a, this is why I had to do a, black, a healing fire on black media. And the reason for that, and this will be here in the description block, uh, description box, is to stop all black media from not telling the truth that black has no standing at law and black has no standing on the planet. All black media slash black conscious people, black politicians, black radio personalities are guilty of accessory to genocide, apartheid, rape, forced assimilation, trafficking, and human cargo, et cetera, for not reporting the fact that black has no standing at law, which is what Barack Obama said when he was in office on the Tom Joyner morning show, and nobody can get the audio, but we got the post from Facebook. That's the only remnant. That's the only thing he did for black people. Everything else was nonsense. He didn't do nothing for black people, and he couldn't, and he shouldn't. So there you have it, everyone. This is five-day comment number 153. Uh, this will be sent out to everybody, so everybody will get a co hard copy, so you can put on your Facebook page, and I'll send it, of course, you know, I'm going to send a hard copy to Sophia Stewart, and again, Sophia, there is time, you can contact me, you got my phone number, 587-712-0639, got to come on our webinar to help save you uh, with that judgment, because once they see this video, they're already going to know the whole system is going to go against you, you're black, you have no standing up, I'm done, like burnt toast. With that, this is Five Day Common number 153. I'm Chief Nadi Shabu Ale of the Atsakata Nation of Yamasi Moors. Yes, the key to stop the matrix, say I am white. And that will stop it. Get on a webinar. You got to do an SF-181. I'll show you how to do it correctly. Abu Gadur, Abu Gadur, Abu Gadur. White power, white power, white power. <laughs>